Happy Thursday, everybody. It is 97, blazing degrees outside. I just finished doing a, a walking tour of a neighborhood for my listing, and I thought I'd do a, another edition of real estate slash realtor pet peeves number two. So today's, and I'm gonna have a whole series of these, by the way, so make sure you check back often. Today's, today's number two, this one is gonna be uh, people who get in this business and don't respect it who are unprofessional, all right? And I'm gonna do it to, for those of you who are old enough to remember Jeff Foxworthy, uh, you might be a redneck. If you remember that, then you'll get this. So, all right, unprofessional realtor tip number one. If you show up at a private showing with your buyers and you're wearing flip-flops or a tank top, you might be unprofessional. All right, number two. If you're at a private showing or a house tour or an open house and your client asks you if they can use the bathroom and you say yes, you might be unprofessional. Number three, if you're putting your listing on the MLS and you don't spell check and you spell basic words wrong like kitchen, you might be unprofessional. Number four, if you take pictures and you upload them onto the MLS and your pictures go in upside down and you check your ad and you don't change it, you might be unprofessional. And number five, if you are a real estate agent and or realtor and your voicemail is not personalized and instead just says, you've reached 555-1212, please leave a message at the tone, you might be unprofessional. Look, it's not hard to be professional, okay? It's, it's, it's really very easy. You know, those five things that is named, by the way, all five have happened in like the last week that I've seen. So I know I'm making a joke of it, but for real, if you're in this business, you've got to treat it like a business. And if you're a client, if you're a buyer, if you're a seller, if you're an investor, if you're a renter, and you come across somebody that has any of those things that I just named, has any of those characteristics, please run. Go find someone who's professional. They may not be as fun or as funny, but they're probably gonna treat your money a lot better. So that's real estate pet peeves number two. Number three will come back at you maybe next week when I get the time to do it. Have a great afternoon, everybody. Thanks for watching.